Witness to me is family. We're a really diverse family. A player like me coming from a diverse background, I think I really appreciate that. Just like real family, you're gonna have disagreements and conflict, but at the end of the day, we always work things out. Harper, you want some beef ribs? Harper? I'm full. You're full? I'm from Clovis, California. Didn't play football all the way until my freshman year in high school. And it was because of um, my buddy, Coach Vi, um, said, hey, look, you should go out and play football. For where I grew up, there was maybe two, three guys that were among that played tackle football. I didn't know anything about football. And I was like the fifth or sixth string um, corner and on the, on the ninth grade team. Um, I had a couple past breakups uh, my junior year and the senior year came around. I it was a starter. Um, I took a couple years off, went to the JUCO, was going to school. I came up to Minnesota with nothing to expect. Came out and played a Division three school. Sophomore year, junior year, all conference, senior year, I was all conference as well. Uh, first team all conference in my last year of college. Um, after that, got done playing college football. I, I reached out to some of the guys in the cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul. I decided to tell Coach Vi, my, one of my best buddies, I say, hey, look, Vi, um, we want to start up a team. Would you like to be part of it and be the offensive coordinator while I'll be the head coach, defensive coordinator, and still trying to play linebacker or play wherever the team needed me? And so Coach Vi decided to jump on board, and we ended up playing in July 4th in 2008 when Witness started. And so um, when we started Witness, we had a lot of guys, our very athletic guys. We had maybe five, six guys that played collegiate football, and they're all Hmong. We had a lot of guys that were part of a church. We had a lot of pastors, a lot of music directors, a lot of youth sponsors, a lot of people that are involved in the church. And we had a lot of guys that weren't too as well. We started it, we got it going, and we are in 2023 and we're still going. That's almost 15 years of Witness football. I think we're probably one of the longest standing teams that are still around. Unfortunately, we haven't won a big major tournaments, but I think that um, guys keep coming back because I think the culture, guys keep coming back because of um, who we are, what we stand for. You know, if it's just all about football, then obviously guys will be gone a long time ago. We'll probably have been deceased. But I think the community, relationships, and network, you know, and help each other out outside of the game of football. The game has evolved to flag football, and I think it's important to our community because um, it brings a different game and allows our big men to still continue to be active in sports. Some big guys do play volleyball, but it takes a different skill set. I think that we can see a lot of um, our Hmong guys, big Hmong guys, excel and do well in Hmong flag football. At the same time, um, seeing a lot of our Hmong athletes, our peers, in, in their best form and in, in, in the skill positions. Um, at the same time, there is there is a systematic control of saying, hey, look, we only allow a certain amount of non-Asians. So still keep the game on an equal level playing field. Because biologically, um, we're a lot smaller than most um, other cultures, other people. And um, it's great that our, our people value our Hmong people and that we were able to still compete in, in a form of competitiveness and a fashion within our peers. I think we got a good mix of um, veterans, guys that are in their late 30s, mid 30s, late 20s early 20s, even 13, 14 year olds. So I think Witness today brings a different brand of football that we're able to see different generations and, and see the future of Witness football. At the end of the day, we're here to play Hmong flag football. And within the fine lines of the 40 by 80, three non-Asian rules and stuff like that, I think that Witness brings a different dynamic to Hmong flag football. At the same time, I believe that we're able to reach out to other communities as they're coming into our community and embracing our people, um, embracing our food, embracing our culture, embracing our way of life.
and exposing them to that. I think that those are some great traits. Um, and I think that not all non-Asians feel the same way, but some, a lot of them come in and they really embrace the culture and they really embrace the people and they really love the people. It's a very long commitment for a season. So we try to consist of gatherings, fellowship, and different things that we continue to bond. It's always connecting and building community. It's year round, but from an off season standpoint, we try to keep it low key, but at the same time, having guys just hang out and have fun. They can afford to get injured because they got money. <laughs> <laughs> right, they got, they got extra, I'm gonna trade you know it you know, yeah. yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Five reps? Um, yeah. like four, four. Four. That's your brother, bro? Oh, that's my brother. Oh, you're lucky, bro. Oh, I know. I know. I'm trying to have him be my brother. <laughs> oh, they're my brother, bro. Yeah, <laughs> my father. <laughs>
I believe I'm the greatest small black football running back of all time. Objectively speaking, there's never been a running back with my combination of size, speed, strength, and experience. I think what separates me apart from size, all that, really is just my work ethic. Not even just compared to running backs, just all positions, players in this league, really. I pride myself on being really consistent in the off season with strength training, with conditioning, with my diet, and my sobriety, of course. The correlation between my sobriety and witness is that uh, once I became sober, my work ethic and commitment skyrocketed, and it made me not only that much of a better player and athlete, but more importantly, it made me a better teammate and leader for the team. I started my football journey when I was about seven or eight years old. It may seem surprising, but when I was a kid, and still now, I'm like a huge introvert, but especially back then as a kid, so my pops kind of uh, forced me to play parkour football to kind of just get me out of my shell and to build character. So I did parkour football until I think it was about seventh grade. That's when I started playing with Mason. We both went to the same middle school and high school. In seventh grade, my, my first position was a, a right tackle, believe it or not, because again, I was so shy and so introverted that I didn't even want to be part of the skills position. I just, because that was like too much spotlight for me. And so uh, back then I was kind of like a bigger kid, so I played right tackle. And, and I think that's kind of what made me have an appreciation for my linemen too, on top of them blocking for me, but just because I actually played the position. And so I know how tough it is and I know the lack of glory. Moving on to high school, senior year I finally started and I was a 1,000 yard rusher. I broke school record, tied a school record, and I qualified for a state record rushing for six touchdowns in one game. And to my knowledge, I'm the first person among the set to qualify for a state record in high school athletics for football. That was a long time ago, but I think it's kind of important. I feel kind of like a pioneer or stepping stone in a way. So uh, yeah, that was my journey with football. I didn't play collegiate sports. I got a few offers, D3, D2, but at the time I, I kind of just was focused on having fun and not really committed to sports anymore. Man, I'm gonna get you off that, man. Huh? You stop with my toes, you grimy, man. You dirty, man. <laughs> You know, I just saw the news fight. today. <laughs> they said, they said, they said, which school's a quarterback? You and Lincoln Riley and Ryan Day right now, right? Yeah, we we've been developing quarterbacks. You guys haven't developed quarterbacks. Y'all got draft picks, yes. Justin Fields is the only one. He's still early in his career. Look at Haskins, dude. He was. That wasn't Ryan Day though. Uh, was that, that was still. Was still Herbert I mean, that's what they're saying. Nah. Uh, Orders. Okay, we're coming up on his grill. Our in outside foot is on his inside foot. Guess what? I'm gonna pop him here. If he goes inside, go inside. I'm gonna wash him down here. Stay on top of him. Run! 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 Out of bounds! Out of bounds! Hey, this is intro practice. Just say, hey, look. Make sure, hey, we. I get a chance to see what our, your athletic ability as an individual, okay? Yes, All right? And my thing is, hey, make the mistake now. Make the mistake now and let's fix it and let's get better. Check in, okay? That's your responsibility. All right, as a captain, I've done so many things throughout the years. Try to hold hands, make sure guys come along. Hey, I'm willing to do that too. But you gotta talk to me, you gotta tell me what you need, okay? I don't mind. 
I'm a busy guy, but I don't mind helping if you need it, okay? I'll hold your hand or your pocket. It's like, hold on. They fill up the space, destroy the thing, and somehow got back to birth or didn't die. Oh, they want to go. They're not going to break it. What's the deal? They're not racing anymore. They just went out the window at four, three or four. They're the Avengers now. They're not racing anymore. The Avengers are not racing Van's turning on some baby making music. I swear to God. Turning on some baby making music. <laughs> but he never deployed his uh, parachute. So he hit the ground, the plane crashed, and then his goes all over on him. Bearing up eating it. Doing pretty nuts. <laughs> It's a movie to, I'd say to watch it. Is it a movie worth buying? I wouldn't buy it. Like, I've only watched it once. Like, in the Okay, I had a good time watching it. Gordy, the Rocky Center, I wanted to see it. That's a hobby. Yes, here's other centers. To be fair, the center of them, like, eight, nine, ten of them are pretty good. What is the state of wrestling? Wreck it. There's quite a few good wrestlers there. Tag team. That's my partner. The I saved, there I saved them. Jitters. Really? They're better than the ones. Tag him out. Hey, he's out. Leave him alone. That's always the. Now you gotta fight me. The sad part, man. Woo! Come on, man. Woo! Oh snap! I can't. Oh, that man has you. Behind me already. Now I got the leverage. So, well, so what, what it should look like is no, this. Say no, no. go. Right, right. No, we got a full line now. Woo. Now you all down it. You behind me. Play, 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 play. Uh, play, play is on me now. So now, now I won. All right. So. There we go. I chose to play for Witness because they welcomed me. It means a lot to me to play for them and to play for my community. It's not the same as college football or high school football, but you still get an amazing experience and it's still very rewarding. Um, it's nice to play in your community where you don't have to face microaggressions or stereotypes or this and that. You can just play free, have fun, and be in your community. I think that through playing with Witness, I can inspire kids around the country, around the world that look like me that talk like me, that come from the same background as me, and let them know that, hey, somebody went to college, became a student athlete, and came back to work and play in the community. Choosing to become an athlete as an Asian person is probably not very popular because our parents and our grandparents came here um, from another country with nothing but clothes on their backs. It's probably more common that an Asian person, a young Asian person would want to go to school just to get a nice job and do this and that. But I know there's a, a, a population out there that loves sports and loves physical activity, loves fitness, and wants to pursue that in some way, shape, or fashion. The way that I actually got invited to play for Witness is kind of funny. I posted a YouTube video of a college football game day vlog uh, during the COVID year and you know not a lot of things were going on but uh, the coaches coach James and coach Fi, they came across that video and they messaged me and asking if I wanted to come out I came out that summer to a witness practice and I fell in love right away the biggest thing was that not only did they play football and they were smart people but they also didn't drink or smoke and that's something I like to value in my life and and surround myself with people that also value that.
my relationship with Witness evolved when I um, stayed with the team and grew closer to the players and especially the coaches. You know, I realized that the coaches came from a similar background that I did. I, I do. I mean, they come from a broken home just like me, a poor family, and somehow they made it, made it out and they have their own families now. They have, you know, they live in a nice neighborhood and that's just something I want to do one day too.
They're talking all that shit on the sideline a lot. Hey, what I say from the beginning, guys, okay? It's gonna be an ugly game, okay? We're gonna make mistakes, okay? Defense, we gave up a lot of mistakes. Offense, same thing. We made a lot of mental mistakes, okay? Hey, we got that out of the way, okay? Now we got the next game coming up right now, okay? Now let's focus in here and let's just clamp down a little bit on, on, our, on mistakes, okay? Hey, we got the puzzle pieces together. We just gotta put it together now. Come on. Hey, it's a W, guys. We'll take it. Okay, let's go. Win us all three. One, two, three. Win us. Hey, hey, line up, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Offense. We only had three plays right there, right? Right. Two of those three plays was all busted plays, right? And we had give us one play with a, a, a long to do it. You guys got it, all right? Hey, we gotta play better, man. All right, we're thinking too much. If we can't audible, just don't audible anymore. All right, because we're all running the wrong stuff. Go. Thank you.